Rock the Yahweh. Rock the Yahweh. Rock the Yahweh Shai. Rock the Yahweh Shai. All praises and every glory be unto Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, say, taste, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. And we are the Hebrew Israelites back again with another lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Ratazad is a lesson that's edifying unto the ears of the elect. Our you hopeful elect members that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth? All right, that are patiently re uh, re uh, awaiting the return of our Messiah, whose true huh? name is Yahweh Shai. Huh? All right, uh, patiently awaiting salvation. All right, we know this devil is about to come down with great wrath. All right, we know that he's angry because he he has a short time. Can you grab uh, Job 20th chapter? Okay. And the scripture said that the triumphant of the wicked is short. All right, your end is here, Esau. All right, goddamn devil, your end is here, man. That's right. All right, and these devilers are trying to make their last attempt, all right, to extend, expand and ex extend their rulership. All right, but you can't go over and beyond what the Most Heavenly Father has it appointed for your bitch ass. All right, you're going into shackles and you're going into chains, man. That's right. All right, thus said the Holy Bible. You know, when you go into scriptures like Isaiah the 49th chapter, Isaiah the 60th chapter, what is it talking about? It's talking about the kingdom of heaven. For the children of Israel being established and you being slaves in it, man. That's right. All right, for all of the grimy shit that you have done to our people. All right, all of the oppression, you know, the conquest. All right, the subjugation. All right, the extortion, the slavery. All right, the raping, the robbery. All right, and the list goes on. All right, if we were to write a book of all of the wicked ass shit that you have done, all right, that book would be endless. Okay. All right, because you have been oppressing our people for a long ass time. The scripture says that your bones is full of the sins of your youth. They lie down with you in the grave. All right, going back to the time when we came out of Egypt. All right, who was the first nation to attack us, man? Okay. All right, going all the way up into the time of of uh, the when the Babylonian siege, all right, Jerusalem. All right, who helped them? All right, who aided them? Who gave them instructions and help on how to bring us down? And then entered into our lands. It was you. All right. When you go into the time of the Greeks, which w that was the beginning of you coming into power. That's the reason why when you go to Revelation 13 chapter, it begins with the leopard. That leopard represents you, nigga. Yeah. So you got to be paid back for the things that you have done to the Lord's holy people, man. All right. And even until now, guess what? You're coming out of power. But you want to extend that rulership. All right, you elites want to extend your rulership. Because as of right now, guess what? The scriptures say that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Who's the wicked? It's you. You're the wicked. You're the wicked, man. That's right. Malachi 1 and 4. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So it's you. And you cannot extend this rulership not a second not a millisecond. All right, the Most High Heavenly Father said this. Go ahead. Uh, this is Job 20 and 5. That uh, that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is for a moment. That's right. And that goes hand in hand with Revelation 12 and 12, which says what? The devil has come down unto you having <laughs> great wrath because he knoweth that he has a short time. God. And when you go into that word devil, what does it say? It says a devil like man or one who is to play the side of him. So you are the devil and you're the one that's coming down out of power. It's the end of your rulership, man. It's the end of your goddamn rulership. So you're not going to give it up easily. God. All right, you're going to you're going to make your fight, you're going to make your stand, you're going to make your assault on the children of Israel. But nonetheless, I mean, you have you have uh, men that are, that will have to suffer an honorable death. All right, you have men and women that will have to suffer suffer honorable deaths. But for the most part, the scripture says there'll be some of you here that shall not taste death God. until you see the son of man coming in his kingdom. All right, we are in the time of trouble, man. And it's only going to get worse. Next year is going to really be the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. And yes, we're going to catch hell from Esau, man. Okay. 
Hey, but the scripture gives us comfort, all right? Because it reminds us that we serve the omnipotent one. All right, who is that? That's Yahweh. Yahweh is omnipotent, which means he who has his sway over all things, man. Let's grab that real fast. Grab this in the blue letter for me. Revelation 19 and 6. All right, and, and did not Yahweh Shai get the victory over death? So we believe in him until the very end. Guess what? We get the victory over death as well. That's the reason why the scriptures say, death, where is thy sting? Where is your sting? Death, where is your sting, man? All right, if we die, we shall live again, man. Huh. That's the reason why it also says in the book of Romans, the 8th chapter, and beginning at verse 35, it says, who can separate us from the Lord, man? Can't shit separate us from the Lord. If we believe unto the end, let me just grab that real fast. This is uh, Romans 8, and beginning at verse 30, it says, Moreover, whom he predestinated, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh be with before us, who can be against us? So we got a power that's for us, man. That's right. Who can be against us? Can Esau be against us? Can two-thirds be against us? Can the other nations be against us? If they rise up against us, what can they do, man? If they put you to death, what does that mean? That means that the Lord allowed them to, man. If they come and snatch you out of your house at 5.30 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, you sleep, slob, dried up on the side of your face, and they snatch you out, and they take you to a FEMA camp where they take you to beat you. What does that mean? That means the Lord <coughs> allowed that to happen. God. He allowed it to happen. But that's a test on your faith. Because if you remain faithful, the Lord could have it to where you're delivered from that situation. God. Just because you get taken into a FEMA camp don't mean you're going to die. Trust and have faith in Yahweh by Shemi Shai, man. Don't fear Esau. That's what this lesson going to be about. Reading on, it says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for, for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And does it not mention in the book of Revelation, the third chapter, He that overcometh shall inherit all things? So through Yahweh Shai, we're going to get all things, man. <laughs> All you got to do is endure. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shai that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. All right. Who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation? Shall distress? Shall persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or swirl, sword? As it is written, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep to the for the slaughter, cause we gonna we gonna have to catch hell, man. Just just to, you know, put the facts out there. It ain't gonna be no thing when Esau moves in like a flood and poop. We just out of there. Uh -huh. We gonna be right in the midst of it, man. Right in the heat of everything while it's going on. All right, trusting and believing and calling out and praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and going through whatever we have to go through, whatever suffering we have to go through, bearing it, but not turning away from this faith, because that's the number one important thing, keeping your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, no matter what hell you're catching. All right? It says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor the present, nor the things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord, our Lord and Savior, man. So not even death can separate us from Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Not even death. 
can you uh, read this real fast? I know you got that one. But read 1 Corinthians 50, 55, uh, 15 and 55. Okay. One second. Yep. Not even death can separate us from the love of our power, First man. 1 Corinthians 15 and 55. Yep. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? So you don't just die and you go away and your spirit just, just disappears. All right, that spirit gets a new house. It gets a new body. And you live again. Yeah. Go ahead. The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. There you go. The sting of death. All right. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, death, where is thy sting? All right. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? All right. We believe in Yahweh Shai, so therefore we'll believe again. Man. I mean, we'll live again. Okay. Keep going. Uh, hold on just one second. Okay. No, you can. That's it. Okay, Kyle. Because if, if we if we just died and we didn't rise again, then then pretty much our faith in dying for Yahweh Shai would just be in vain, man. All of this hell and everything that we're catching, the persecution, all right, the backlash, all of this will be in vain. That same chapter, go up to, um, go up to um, verse 13. All right, because there is a such thing as a resurrection. Okay. When you go into uh, 2 Maccabees, the seventh chapter, they knew about the resurrection. That's the reason why they mentioned... Um, that, that pretty much they were willing to die so that they may receive a better resurrection. And so like it, bear with us because a, a lot of these scriptures we didn't even um, prepare. Okay, I got it. Proceed. Uh, hold on, just one second. Okay, okay. I want to grab this for you real fast. Yeah, this is 2 Maccabees, the 7th chapter, verse 14. It says, so when he was ready to, to die, he said thus, it is good being put to death by men to look for hope from Yahweh, to be raised up again by him. As for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. So what, what did that mean? That means that you would get raised back up, man. That's the reason why you don't fear Esau, because our power, although we suffer and are slain for his sake, man, he can raise us back up in a new body, okay. a more glorified body. So we ain't afraid of what Esau can do. That's the reason we were like, to hell with Esau. Okay. Well, you want to you wanna take me out? Okay. Oh, well, present your body a living sacrifice. Okay. All right, because our power that we serve can can give it back to you, man. Okay. And will give it back to you. All right, we understand that he's the omnipotent one, man. That's he's right. the one that has to sway over all things. Go ahead. You got it. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians um, 15 and 13. But there be no resurrection of the dead, then is the Messiah not risen? And if the Messiah be not risen, then... Is our preaching vain and our faith vain? Our faith, then your faith is also vain. That's right. If Yahweh shot be not risen. All right, but we know that he is. All right, and how do we know that? Through faith. Go ahead. Yea, we are also, we, we, yea, and we are found false witness un, of Yahweh because we have testified of Yahweh that he have raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he raised not up. So if so be. If so be that he that the dead, dead rise not up. So if the dead raise not up, then we are found false witnesses because we testify that Yahweh shall rose again, man. 
We testify that he's sitting on the right hand of the Most Heavenly Father at this moment, awaiting the time when, when our power gives him the go-ahead to come and to take this devil down and to restore the kingdom of Israel. And that men, women, are in, and children of Israel must believe upon him all right, in order to receive salvation. That's our testimony, man. So if we testify that, then we are found liars if Yahushua wasn't raised back up. Because we're saying that the Most Heavenly Father rose him back up. Yeah. Go ahead. For if the dead rise not, then is not Yahushua raised? Mm -hmm. And if Yahushua be not raised, your yep. faith is vain. There you go. Ye are yet in your sense. So if Yahweh hasn't risen back up, then we don't have any, we don't have any uh, uh, covering for our sins. God. We don't have an atonement for our sins. That means that when the Most High Heavenly Father do finally judge this place, we're going to be judged with it and destroyed, man. But it's through Yahweh we're going to overcome because if we believe in Him, He becomes that atonement for us, man, God. which covers the multitude of our transgressions because we were wicked and we were filthy. And we do, done things that are despicable in the eyes of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, man. We transgressed against our power. So therefore, we do have a savior whose name is Yahweh Shai, and he has become that lamb for the children of Israel, man. That sacrificial lamb. That if you believe on upon him, are right, you become a new creature and a new man through him? All right, your 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 slate being wiped clean. <coughs> All right, and now walking in the newness of life. And keeping the words that he has taught us unto the end so that we can receive salvation, man. Go ahead. Then this, uh, then they also which are fallen asleep in the Messiah are, are perished. So if those that fall asleep, sleep, sleep means death. All right, what did, what did Nah say? He said, sleep is the cousin of death. I can't remember the rest of the lyrics, man. He said, I never sleep because sleep is the cousin of death. You know, so death, according to the scriptures, is, is also under the, 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 the word asleep. You know, when uh, Lazarus was, was um, dead and they said, by this time, Lord, he stinketh. He said, I go to wake Lazarus. You know, Lazarus is asleep. Then the... the um, the disciple says, well, Lord, if he's asleep, then he's then he's he's well. Then that's when he spoke it to him plainly. He said, Lazarus is dead. So those that be falling asleep, which means that those that have passed and went on, that means that they perish and they just going on. But it's not so because uh -huh. they live again. Go ahead. And if it is this life only, we have hope in the Messiah. And Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. We are of all men most miserable. Yep, so if in this life we only have hope in Yahweh Shai, meaning that Yahweh Shai ain't really coming back. All right, he ain't going to come back in the clouds. You know, the, the dead that fell asleep in Yahweh Shai isn't going to be on the chariots with them when he returns. Then that means that we are, we are miserable because we need Yahweh Shai, man. How in the hell are we going to overcome this man by ourselves, man? How in the hell will we come o overcome yeah. Esau by ourselves? We can't overcome Esau by ourselves, man. All right, we don't have the weaponry. All right, you, you niggas ain't even unified. And then what show is that? You scrapping at the unity camps, man. That's the reason why we don't even get down with that, man. God. All right, the time is coming where the true prophets are being made known, man. That's right. And then you shall know that a prophet has been amongst them. God. Go ahead. But, well, but we have Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back. And we know Yahweh Shah is coming back because the spirit, the, the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. And we're in the spirit of prophecy. That's right. All right. And we're prophesying things, all right, that are coming to pass, all right, all through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. All right. We have the, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the Holy Spirit because we have faith in Yahweh Shah. That's right. All right. We can understand the things that were written aforetime. That was spoken by Yahweh Shai that will happen in these times. And we're watching those things come to pass. And Yahweh Shai said, you know, uh, when you see these things come to pass, then you know that the end is near, man. God. Go ahead. But now is Yahweh Shai risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that sleep, that slept. For since man came death 
by man came also the resurrection of the dead. So there's a resurrection of the dead, man. All right. So Yahweh, who is omnipotent, can you grab that scripture real fast? Okay. All right. He is given the ability of it uh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, to give life. So believing in Yahweh Shai, even if we die, we're going to be raised again. Okay. All right. We're going to be the first ones raised up. If we die for Yahweh Shai, man, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. All right. Go ahead. This is Revelation 19 to 6. And I heard it were the voice of a great multitude. I heard it as it were the voice of a great I, I multitude. I heard it as it was were a voice of a great multitude, as a voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb. There you go. It's it says, come. But the point being, it says the omnipotent will reigneth. Now okay. grab the word from omnipotent. Okay, okay. It means he who has the, the sway over all things, which means he who has the control over all things. Is it not through Yahweh that all things consist? All right, is it not because of Yahweh that all things are? Life and death. All right. He who created Yahweh Shai, who then created the angels, all right, who created all things, it's because of Yahweh. Okay. All right, so so he can, all he has to do is is raise you back up, and he can do that if you believe in him, man. All right, there are gonna be things that happen unto men, man. All right, men are gonna uh, suffer uh, honorable deaths. All right, or men are gonna suffer torment and torture. Or what not at the hands of Esau Edom. But all of these things, if you suffer and you remain obedient, holding fast to integrity, then the Lord will He will bless you. Alright, because of your faith, because of your integrity. What's the word for omnipotent? Strong's G. You don't have to play that. Just read the definition. Uh uh. The definition is uh um uh, he who holds sway over all things, uh -huh. the ruler over all, Almighty. And what is what is the the word sway means? All right, the ruler over all things, the Almighty. All right, sway means to move or cause to move slowly, or rhythmatically. All right, backward and forward, or from side to side. A rhythmic movement from side to side. Rule control. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has the rule, all right, or the control over all things. So not Esau Edom. Now Esau Edom may be able to take away your life presently, all right? But it's the Most High Heavenly Father that can destroy your spirit, your soul. Uh. Or it's the Most High Heavenly Father that can give that spirit, all right, that soul a new body to, to live in. A more body, a body that's better than this one. Uh. So whom shall we fear, man? Luke 12 and 4, Baba Kasha. And while you're getting that, I'm going to read this. All right, out of the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon. All right, we speak these things to your comfort. All right, understanding that our power is the power over all things, even life and death. So don't fear Esau, although he's about to come in with the great flood. All right? All right, our enemy is about to come in with the great flood, man. <coughs> the book of wisdom of Solomon the third chapter verse 1 it says but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh and there shall no torment touch them and the sight of the unwise they seem to die and their departure is taken for misery all right because they suffered honorable deaths or caught how uh, whatever kind of hell they went through it says and they're going from us to be utter destruction but they are in peace for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And really, this is speaking about the prophets. All right, because the prophets were being killed, or the prophets were being destroyed, or the prophets were being uh, beat and whipped. All right, they were being uh, mangled, molested, whatever you want to say, man. All right, and, and a lot of the prophets were dying, although they were testifying the words of Yahweh Shai. So with some of them, 
All right, their their uh, departure was taken away from misery. But guess what? And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as burnt offerings. And uh, like I say in uh, Isaiah 48 and 10, it says uh, the, the righteous is tried in the furnace of the aff affliction. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So we're, we're going to have to be affl afflicted. And mm -hmm. going through that affliction is going to prove if you believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai or not. And in the time of their visitation shall they shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. So what does that mean? That means that they live again. Why? They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he hath a care for his elect. So having a care for his elect, he's not going to just allow them to perish and go away and uh -huh. be destroyed. He's going to reward them for, for the things that they suffered to show their faith in him, man. All right, to show that they believe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and they believed him all the way up until the point of death. All right, they love not their lives into death. All right, because they believe that there is going to be a, a better resurrection, man. Okay. One more before I uh, before you read that. The book of uh, Hebrews 11 and 35, it says, Women received their dead, raised again, raised to life again, but shows you that, that you can ra be raised again, you can live. And other was tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they may obtain a better resurrection. And uh, I want to grab that in the blue letter real fast. Ooh. I want to grab the word for resurrection. The word there is Anastasia or uh, Salakia, Anastasis, and it says raising up, rising, all right, rising from the dead, that of Yahweh Shai, that of all men, that at the end of this present age, the resurrection of certain ones, history, who were restored to life. <laughs> so who were restored to life? All right, so an interpretation of resurrection can be restored to life. Res means again, and erection means to stand. All right, so you're going to stand again. You're going to live again. Go ahead, Ot. Okay, okay. this is um, Luke um, 12 and 4. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that, that killed the body. After that, they have no more that they can do. That's right. So after Esau have beheaded you, all right, after he <laughs> have shot you, you know, after he have beat you, you know, whatever, whatever torture, there ain't, sh ain't shit he can do after that, man. Okay. All right, go ahead. And, and just because you're going through it doesn't mean that you have to feel it, man. All right, there's an account in the Apocrypha of an individual that was pretty much prophesying against... Uh, um, and not, not the Apocrypha, the Josephus that was prophesying against Jerusalem in 70 AD. All right. And whether it's exaggerated or not, you know, it's still in there, you know, just using it as an as a, uh, example because it's found within that book, you know, which is a book of history. All right. It's not it's not inspired like the inspired scriptures like the like the Bible. But the individual was crying out against Jerusalem, whoa, 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 against Jerusalem and the inhabitants thereof. And the people didn't like what he had to say, you know, so they um, they took him and they beat him. And it, it, it says that they beat him down to the bone, man. And it says that he didn't cry, you know, because of the the um, the uh, the beating that he was going through. It was like he didn't even feel the pain, man. All right. But he just kept repeating the same thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To Jerusalem and the inhabitants thereof. Okay. You know, so. 
the most High heavenly father can make it to where you don't even feel the pain of the things that you're going through. Like, Ste like uh, Stefan, where it says you just, he just fell asleep. You know, he fell asleep, man. So the same thing could, could uh, happen. All right, Paul was stoned, and guess what? He he went into the spirit world, man. And the Most High Heavenly Father took his spirit and put it right back in his body. So uh -huh. the Lord could do that for you, too. Where they could think that they killed you, but guess what? The Lord could put your spirit immediately right back in your body. And then you could, you could, you know, go wherever the Lord, the spirit of the Lord take you until the Lord delivers you in the chariots. So don't just be in the spirit of, 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 of only expecting death. The only reason that we're doing this lesson is to comfort you so that if you're ever met with this situation, believing that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai can deliver you, man. Go ahead. But I will forewarn you. I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Uh huh. Fear him which after have killed, which I, I, after he have killed, have the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Yeah, because after Yahweh Bashimi Awashai has, has killed the body, he can make it to where your spirit doesn't exist as well. Go ahead. Are you not are not are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? Uh-huh. And, 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 and not, not one, one of them is gotten forgotten forgotten before, before the before Yahweh? Yeah, because even even the sparrows, you know, are birds. You know, Yahweh by Shemiah Washah makes a way for them to eat. Okay. You know, he makes a way for them to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. So how much more so you? All right, being his chosen and putting your trust in him. Go ahead. Okay. But even the very hairs of your head are all, all numbered. numbered. Uh -huh. Fear not, therefore, for ye are more valuable than many sparrows. There you go. So we are of more value than sparrows, man. Okay. Whom Yahweh by Shemiah Washah takes a care for. All right, because he makes these, he makes it uh, possible for them to eat, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis and have what they need to be nourished to get by, man. Okay. So how much more so us, which which are more worthy than they, all right, which are more in value than they, all right, being the precious jewels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 51 and 12, all right, it says, I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of men that shall die? And of the son of man, which shall be made as grass. You want to speak on it? Okay. Read it again, brother. It says, I, even I, and this is Isaiah 51 and 12. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of men that shall die? And of the son of man, which shall be made as grass. God, uh, uh, hey, uh, um, uh, um, hey, hey, we have nothing to fear. You know, a, a, the only thing we have to fear is the Most High. You know, a, 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 the only thing we have to do is do His will. You know, a, a, that's our whole purpose is to do His will. You know, uh, 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 fear the Most High and, and uh, with our whole heart, body, 